when Sam is doing Falcon shit, I'm all in. But when Sam is being Sam, I'm not really buying Sam's character. Alright y'all, I wasn't gonna do it because every time I talk Marvel or Star Wars, y'all motherfuckers don't care or maybe just YouTube just don't want to play my shit because everybody talking about it. But I had to get this off my chest y'all. I don't have many nerds around me to talk about this shit with besides my big brother. We talked a little bit about it but I just had some shit I gotta get off my chest and that is about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode 1. Now, I think there's only six episodes in this season, so I think I'm going to go ahead and review all six of them, even if y'all motherfuckers don't watch. I have to talk about it, y'all. Yo, all right, spoilers, by the way. The opening sequence, the opening action sequence of this show, I was like, I got my projector, I had it on the wall. That was probably the best action shit that I've seen in the MCU since Endgame, all right? Since Endgame, we've had, what, uh, Far From Home? And then WandaVision. Now don't get me wrong, WandaVision was a good show. Alright, I was very intrigued. I was I was like many of y'all, I was like interested to see where this shit was going to go. It, it was way uh, uh, different than what the Marvel formula usually is. And I appreciated that. But then a lot of people felt let down because at the end, it went back to the old Marvel formula. And people was like, well damn, all of this just for that? I'm like, fucking missed me with that shit. But Falcon the Winter Soldier stays true to the Marvel formula but does it big and I'm like this is a show so that opening action sequence had me like my mouth was open I'm like holy shit this was intense I'm like all right I'm gonna like this I really am and for the most part I did like this episode but here it is this is the critic coming out of me the thing that I did not like that kind of threw it threw me off a little bit about this show was Anthony Mackie is Sam now, he's a good actor because he's been around for a while. He's been in a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? So, I respect Anthony Mackie. But I think sometimes when you, even if you're a good actor, if you get somebody across from you that's not so good, it doesn't complement your performance. So, the stuff with him and his sister, with Sam and his sister, the whole thing about saving the boat or whatever, I did not care. Uh, the acting was so cringeworthy when they were bouncing back and forth off of each other. I'm like, ugh. This acting is not too good. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't get into it. You know what I mean? Like, not once did I believe that they were brother and sister. So, when Sam is doing Falcon shit, I'm all in. But when Sam is being Sam, I'm not really buying Sam's character. You know what I mean? Now, we all know he's supposed to be the next Captain America. You know, Cap gave him the shield, and he gave it up. He felt he wasn't worthy of carrying the mantle of Captain America, let alone having the shield even though Steve Rogers gave it to him. Now, I will say, as far as the, the charisma and just being that that guy, um, yeah, Sam is definitely no Steve Rogers. You know what I mean? It, it's just what it is. But um, by the end of the season, that could be the case. You know, by the end of the season, he could come into his own and be that Captain America that we need him to be. But then again, I heard in the comics that uh, Bucky also became Captain America at one point. So, Maybe the show is setting up to where we believe Sam is going to be the one to carry the mantle when in actuality it's going to end up being Bucky to carry the role of Captain America because he did do that. Either way, I wouldn't mind, but right now I'm definitely feeling Bucky's character more than Sam because Bucky, he's, he's now a civilian in a world that does not make sense to him, okay? So he, he's been killing people for years and he's just been this... This soldier, this killing machine, all he's known for the past 70 years is combat. And now, there's no more fighting, there's no more war. I'm just here now trying to make it in the world like everybody else. And he's having a hard time adjusting to that. And I like that, I like that story, okay? I, I do like that arc, so I was really invested in that. But when it came to Sam and his sister, not so much. I did not care. And it was fucked up, too, how the, the old Asian guy that Bucky became friends with... Yeah, he ended up, his son, he ended up killing his son. And now he's like really guilty about that. Like, damn, man. And I just thought about Civil War when, um, remember when, when Tony had him in the headlock and he was like, do you even remember them? And he's like, I remember all of them. So it's like, he remembers all the people that he killed, but it's like he had no control over this shit. So it, it haunts him every day. And he's, he's really a damaged character. And let me know if I'm alone in this, y'all. All right. Does Sebastian Stan, especially with the short haircut, does he now remind you of Return of the Jedi Mark Hamill? 
I said if they ever do a Luke Skywalker limited series, they got to get this guy, okay? If they're going to go the route of uh, Luke training Grogu, or as, as most people know him as Baby Yoda, you got to get this guy in there. He looks exactly like Return of the Jedi era Luke Skywalker. And we're introduced to a new terrorist organization. I forgot what they're called, but they're led by uh, this guy who is uh, super powered. Obviously, like he was kicking people around. He's got some super soldier serum or something in him. And um, that's rumored to be Kurt Russell's son. But now, Kurt Russell's son is definitely the new Captain America that they introduced in the end. So, I'm going to call it here first, y'all. I predict that the same, the masked guy, the villain, that is a mystery right now, that's the new Captain America. So, he's going to be playing dual roles. And um, I can't remember his son's name. I, I hate to just call him Kurt Russell's son because that's kind of disrespectful. He's got his own name. But that is Kurt Russell's son. <laughs> and I feel he's going to be playing the guy in the mask and also... The new so-called Captain America. Now Sam has to act. It's like, wait a minute. Now I gave up the shield to give to the museum. And now you give this motherfucker Captain America? Oh, something got to give. So y'all, I am definitely invested in this show. Like that that first action sequence got me by itself. I mean, like with me, once you hook me and get my attention, you got me for a while. But when you start fucking up real bad, that's when I start checking the fuck out. So do what you do what you're doing. But just don't focus so much on Sam and the sister. You do that, everything else is cream cheese. So, y'all, that's my two cents, my little take on Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the first episode. Oh, and by the way, it was cool seeing Don Cheadle again as, uh, well, not War Machine, uh, oof, Rhodey. Yeah, it was good to see him again as Rhodey. And we get uh, George St. Pierre, <laughs> who was one of the bad guys in the Winter Soldier movie. He's back now, and I don't know the name of his character either, but it was cool seeing him back. Every time I see George St. Pierre, I just, I just, for some reason, just talk like him, you know. Yes, I'm George St. Pierre. I'm the, the what the way champion of the world, and I'm going to uh, defeat uh, Nick Diaz, you know. <laughs> so, oh my God, yeah, I'm a dork. Anyways, y'all, what did you guys think about the episode? Comment freely below. Do you think the series is going to be a bust? Do you think it's going to be a must? Do you think it's going to be way better than WandaVision so far? A better opening than WandaVision, you know what I mean? So, y'all, uh, yeah, comment below, man. And if you like and did this content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.